What's going on guys? Alex here, Nick and Lawn and Landscape. Today we're going to be cutting down a tree uh, and maybe trimming a couple others at my house if we have time. Running a lift for the first time. It's like a drivable, I don't know, it looks like an off-road vehicle, but it's a lift. Uh, so it should be pretty cool. I've never operated it before, so I'm going to have to get the rundown on that from the rental place. But we're getting that, we're getting a chipper, and we're going to take this thing down. It's not very close to any buildings or anything like that, and it's next to a parking lot. So we got pretty good access, and it's also on a hill, so we're going to be able to drop a lot of it down the hill and then drag it up with a chain. So we've got the skid steer with us, we're going to run around and grab a couple new chains for the chainsaws and we're going to grab the chipper and the lift and then we'll be back here cut this baby down there she is right down there there's like five different sections coming out of the ground and the deal is they're putting a internet tower on this roof and they're saying that tree is going to block the signal when the leaves come on it so getting their new internet service i think they already got it so this tree's got to go a lot of it we're going to drop down the hill and drag up with the skid steer. One, two, three. It's four main sections coming out of the ground. That's pretty big. I would say they're about two foot, maybe a little bit bigger. And then all the big logs are staying here. We're just chipping all the small stuff and you're going to stack up big stuff. So shouldn't be too bad. Got the lift here, 61 foot, I think it's rated at. It's pretty sweet. And then Nick's got the chipper, so let's get going. So before we jump into all this, I feel like there's a couple of things that you need to know. First thing, I am terrified of heights. Not scared, not it freaks me out a little bit. I am like I I do not like it whatsoever. It is not cool. But sometimes you just gotta face your fears and you gotta do it. I get on roofs to clean gutters, and in this case, I'm getting in a bucket to cut down a tree. Not excited about it, but like I said, sometimes you just got to face your fears and you got to do things. At the end of the day, people do this all the time and they're fine. So I'm going to be fine at the end of the day. I just do not like it. It is not my preference. I would not like to do this every day. But like I said, going to do it anyway. The other guy working with us today is my Uncle Ronnie. He's 55 years old and he busts butt. He will outwork a lot of you 20-year-olds. So pay attention, take some notes, and enjoy. A lot higher up there than it looks, let me just tell you. Well, it was slow going, but we made it through and we basically limbed everything the best we could with the lift and then went down and just cut everything at the base and dropped it over in that field, picked it up with the skid steer, and brought it up on the asphalt. And that dump over there is full of chips. My uncle's taking that home for us. There goes the chipper. There's the lift. And there was the tree. They were getting rid of the wood. We took all the limbs, so we got a big pile of logs right here. Another pile up there. You can't really see behind the dumpster. And 
this is what it was. There's four of them. Kind of can't see the ones at an angle down there. But each one of them is about two and a half feet, I would say, around. So it was a big job, but got her done. Took a little bit longer than originally anticipated, but that's just how it goes when you're doing something new. No big deal. At the end of the day, the things that matter are we got the job done, we got paid, and nobody got hurt. Thanks for watching, guys. Be sure to check us out on Instagram. Also, check us out on Facebook at Nickens Lawn and Landscape. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button and leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. I'll see you in the next one.